So a lot of you must have seen the video that I posted moving the observatory back and forth. It is the roll off roof observatory. I'm pretty excited that this is taking some shape, but I don't like the closed spaces anywhere. So I always try to keep a lot more windows. Somebody is asking why so many windows. I said, uh, if I can put a glass across, I would do that one. But for the safety reasons and for putting a wall, I want to make sure at least it has some wall and the rest of them going to be like windows. I did put a small door here. So this one actually does open up. So if I feel like I'm too much into the closed space, I can open this one. Also, there is a big door when, when I'm entering. On the other side, I can open that one too. And of course, the window to the heaven or window to the gods, I believe, is also open when we when we look it up. Uh, there is a lot of planning that is required for this thing to work. Uh, there is a lot more to go. I just wanted to at least get it going so that we can move the telescope here and start taking pictures. So this is Rasa 8, that, the way we saw before. Uh, there was one question that people are asking about that 5 mm adapter that I added. I think there was an interesting comment I think somebody was making that maybe I left the glass uh, filter or the glass door or a glass window that comes with the Celestron where typically you can take that one and add a light pollution filter. Maybe I left them in there and that's why I may need to add that 5 mm. I haven't tested it. I didn't want to open the camera, put it back again because I did take few pictures of elephant trunk nebula and I wanted to try to take some data. I think I got like maybe two hours so far or maybe an hour and a half. So tonight is going to be a clear night. So I will definitely try taking picture of the elephant trunk nebula. So the way I'm planning is there is a filter that comes from IDAS. It is called NBZ or you can think of Nebula Booster. So using that, I should be able to take a pretty good uh, contrast for a one shot color and uh, pretty good details, uh, Nebula details using that filter. That's what I'm going to try. I, I think it came out good when I took a few shots. Tracking is not perfect. I mean, one thing that you notice, I didn't even have here a counterweight. So this is working without a counterweight. It really doesn't need a counterweight up to like, I think 20 pounds or something. So definitely uh, adding a counterweight uh, might help. I'll at least put a counterweight rod today to see if it makes any difference. But tracking is uh, okay. It's not perfect, but it is decent enough. I did put a small guide scope here, as you guys can see. I don't know if you have a chance to see it or not, but it's a small ZWO uh, guide scope. It's pretty good. It's like 120 mm, I believe. And it is going to uh, be sufficient from a guiding standpoint for the RASA 8. Uh, to work properly. Configuration of this observatory is 10 by 10, like the open space, and the other side 10 by 10 is uh, mainly for the office or maybe for the computer to uh, take the pictures. So I did closed the other side, the 10 by 10 side, uh, and it has a permanent roof. Whereas this one has a roof, but that roof slides over to the other side. That's how it is supposed to work. 
the walls are not built yet uh, so once these walls come i think you will actually see why i went after the windows that i was going after i know it is like a little bit extra that i have to do in order to make the windows work but in the long run definitely it is going to uh, help so this one prominently uh, is going to be one of my favorite to take a picture of uh, it looks like uh, um, it looks like there is a black hole behind this elephant trunk that they call it i don't know why they named it as elephant trunk but what fascinates me though is the kind of a black hole look and feel that shows in the background that as if either something is taking the uh, nebula or the cloud of gas into it or maybe coming out we have no idea but that's what actually made me attracted to take the picture of it the sky is very clear already it's already cold it seems like i may need some gloves and we are here in south of texas near austin and it's really cold here so it's going to be pretty cold winter if this continues the way it is so anyway i'm going to connect all this right now i wanted to see how this is going to work even though i seem very calm like inside me my heart is pounding i literally wanted to jump up and down i think this is like most astro people wanted to do something similar so uh, i'm extremely thankful to you all for supporting me and supporting the dream that i had i just you know keep encouraging uh, thank you uh, that actually brought me here i i hope this is going to take us somewhere where i can show you all the sightings that i have and i can share the information